So this is Mega Menu Part 2. Some of you have maybe already seen the first one I made. And this one is a bit different because now we don't need any plugins and we don't need to fix any weird CSS problems that we had before. So the only thing where I do not recommend this one is if your clients are changing the menu items all the times. Then this one is a little bit more annoying for, for them because it's a, it's a more static way. But for, for the most cases where like we have the same menu items and maybe sometimes we change an, a, a new one or, or like rename them, it's like it's, I think this is the best idea. So you can see here that I have my bricks template and it's the same one that I have up here when I'm hovering this service menu item up here. So let's see how this actually works. Let's first dive into the bricks templates and let me open the uh, service here in a new tab. You can also then see that if we are changing the background right away here, let me go for another one like that and save. If you go back and reload, you can see that it's changed here, but it's also changed here because it's the same template. So what we can do, let me go back here, is that normally when you create a header in Bricks, you of course have your whole header template and then you add your logo and all that. But when it comes to the menu items, you use the nav widget or element over here and then you will you're choosing your menu from WordPress. When we're doing the mega menu, we're doing it a bit different way. So if I'm going into the mega menu for bricks here, you'll then be able to see that I've actually created the markup myself. So what I've done is that I've just added a container and let me drag that out here. And then on that container, I change to custom and I do what I need. So let me take you through it. I have the navigation, so it's called nav. And then I have the uh, menu item, sorry, the menu list here. So that's an UL. And then I have the list item. So that's an LI and that's the same for this one. And the same for this one, of course. And you can use classes on those if you wanna be more like global styling and all that. But this is just like the markup. And then I have a basic text element here. We have also changed the HTML to custom. And then I've chosen an A tag. And then I can set a link. I can do external, internal, and all that. Then the fun part is the template. So I've used the template element here. So if I'm choosing another one and I'm dragging that to uh, here with about then what I do is that on the list item here I go up and I choose the mm dash item that's a class I created you can call it whatever you want as long as you change the CSS that I have for you now we have a two drop down actually so we have one in services and one in about and in the code I have uh, I also have a class on the header called mm header just so that if you have multiple headers on your site that you don't mess anything up. So what I do is that on all the elements I unset the position and the reason is that then we don't need to use a lot of JavaScript but also if anything is position relative then the mega menu item will only appear within that space. So you can see here if I remove that and I reload, rerun the code. You can see it's now only within the space of the navigation. So it's pretty weird. And this is, I think, is the best workaround to, to make sure that we are using the position relative of this container up here. Then when you add the MM item, then I have made some code that will hide it from the beginning. And when you hover, it will choose the, the bricks template element over here and then it will show it. Right now I have set the top to 60. It really depends on how much padding you have on your items. You can see here that 
it's um, right now my element goes to just below here and then I have padding from here and all the way down because if you have the top set to like 100 or 200 pixels then you won't be able to hover and then go down to the mega menu it will disappear so therefore I use padding for that but it's up to you to like play around and maybe you want like more distance um, to slide up or you want it you don't even want any transition you can remove you can remove that part so this is how it works let's see how it works with the extra menu up here so let me refresh this one so we have this one and I've oh yeah I haven't chosen any template so that's why let me go down to the template and choose this one update reload here and now we also ha have it on the about <clears throat> and it's the same template so if you change the background everything will change so this is the mega menu part 2 I hope that you like it and maybe you can use it I think it's again I think it's way better so we don't have to like recreate a lot of CSS to make the whole uh, menu like work like we did last time thank you guys for watching see you in the next one